morning 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 how you guys doing or afternoon or evening wherever the hell you are right now i'm gonna be giving my thoughts on the interview that myself and black dragon did with the international president of the vagos motorcycle club and all that business with nat geo coming up If you haven't seen the interview, it is now posted. The reruns, you can see it everywhere. YouTube, Facebook, it's on the podcasting platforms. My God, is the numbers great. I really appreciate all the support you have had with this show, as well as with Bigfoot, the international president of the Vagos Motorcycle Club. I have to say that had to be one of the top three interviews I've ever done since starting Insane Throttle. And what I liked the most about it was how open and honest Bigfoot was with our listenership. It's a sad state of affairs, and I have to say, Mariana, if you're watching, you missed a good opportunity here to really get to know the biker scene and the club scene from a middle-of-the-road perspective where you would have been able to give your viewers more than just a gangland episode, but really a human interest story. And that's what guys like Bigfoot and others that are in clubs are, is a human interest story where there's still values, there's still a moral code. Something that you totally missed when doing your episode. The whole time with National Geographic, or Nat Geo as we call it, everybody involved had their own negotiations. And it was months upon months, as you heard in that interview, of this whole thing coming together. Each one didn't know what else was going on, which right there is some shady stuff right there. Everybody should have known who was going to be involved, but they wanted the shock experience of it. And again, if you watched the whole interview last night, over two hours he sat with us. He answered all our questions as well as questions from the chat room. From you yourself, he answered. Never budged, never batted an eye. And that's something that regular citizens should have had the opportunity to see. So, um, so you know what, the episode came out perfect. Uh, it did a lot to quell a lot of people who like talking about stuff that don't know what goes on behind the scenes. You get a lot of podcasters that do it. They want to give rebuttals, responses, all that stuff. And they're just ignorant to the facts of what happened. What was involved, what was talked about. Then they come out and, well, you shouldn't be surprised. Well, yeah, you're right. We shouldn't have been surprised. But hey, it was a shot in the dark. Because in today's society, everything is about online hell if it wasn't all these self-proclaimed experts wouldn't have a platform to be given so that's the importance of the internet and how yesterday went so far to prove the need in my opinion for clubs to give their side of the story it's not the old days. It's not a box anymore. There's just so much going on. Like I mentioned yesterday, we could drop a story in 
five minutes, it'll be around the world. Getting your side of the story out early is important. For one, you get the general public's eyes on it, especially if there's going to be a jury. You got a potential juror now looking at your side of the story before the prosecutors get in there and get on with all the gang crap. I know Black Dragon, I, I, nah, I, I might be wrong, was talking about public relations officers. Be a beautiful thing. Now I know there's an organization called NCOC. They're supposed to be helping covering this type of stuff. I really think though, in my personal opinion, that it should be the club's personal uh, representative doing it, not an organization, because if it's affecting one club, it should be them that is able to get their side of the story out. That way it don't get muffled in translation. Since that interview, had so many good things being said about the format, how the interview was handled. And that's one thing that we retooled for the new year with Insane Throttle. If you noticed, we've been doing a whole mixture of stuff. And yeah, I got the core listeners saying, hey man, you know, we only want to hear about this and that. No, we, we're going to cover the whole scene. That's why we went into these broadcaster associations and stuff, because we're going to get professional as hell with all this stuff. Personally, I can care less about haters. They can bob on my knob. Anything they say don't mean a damn thing. It just shows a lot of ignorance that they don't know how to debate, but it really don't affect, because you're never going to make anybody happy. Not everybody, anyway. If I did, it wouldn't be here. This whole thing, it wouldn't be worth it because if you don't have different uh, viewpoints, what fun is it? The platform is going to try to give more access to clubs. Because what happened with Nat Geo is they took, and they're actually the reason why I'm really retooling this thing. They took an hour conversation about NCOM. I was a big supporter of NCOM. And I say was because there's some stuff that I don't agree with, let me tell you that. But at the same time, there's a lot going out on the in the scene that you haven't heard a peep from them about, is what it is. That's their organization. I'm a news organization. Whatever. I really wish they would get more involved in some of this stuff, but it is, you know, again, it is what it is. So they took an hour conversation and put it into three seconds. And if you listen careful, see, creators, we do this. And audio, especially me, because of the podcasts. Because of the radio. I know audio. But if you actually listen to the words that I was saying, everything has a space, a split second space. That's where everything was pasted together. It was cut and pasted. They spent over five hours with the Vagos. Five hours. And what was it? A couple minute segment? That is manipulating the whole damn show. Our interviews uncut, unedited. You can watch everything that was said in real time. That's really what I think the media is missing. They're so mistrusted right now, it's unreal. You know, the other day I had to issue a correction on a story where it was the Iron Horseman I put... Well, it was the Iron Horse MC. There's so many that's trying to beat us, you know, like these bear club, whatever. But it's important as a news organization that 
you issue corrections to your stories. And I know it's a foreign concept now with the mainstream media press, but that used to happen all the time. So we're taking steps to ensure everything is accurate. With Biker News, we started covering good stuff even into the motorcycles now. Stuff that I enjoy, because quite frankly, last year, I was getting burnt out by all the bad news, man. It was like, man, not again. But mixing it up where I'm able to give you news from the club world, independent side, uh, motorcycle manufacturer side, that makes it a lot more interesting than just, hey, well, it's the bad stuff happening. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the new format. We're going to be getting a lot more interviews going. And I'm going to be working with uh, Black Dragon and having him host. Because I think we got a good teamwork right there. As far as our interview styles, we've been doing this a long time. Uh, I know You know what that interview was, you know, because Black Dragon even said it. We didn't have to pull information. It just flowed. Because sometimes with interviewees, they're either nervous or, you know, you have to pull information out by asking questions, you know, the tough questions and stuff like that. But I think it was a fair one. And I think a lot of questions that were asked and answered, a lot of people wanted to know. So we want to, again, thank uh, Bigfoot from uh, the Vagos Motorcycle Club for coming on. And one point before we go. Look at that case in Las Vegas where the feds rounded everybody up. They knew it was a lie, but put all those people through hell. And all they had to do is say, sorry, that's law enforcement right there, in my opinion. Hey. Maybe you'll see some uh, of them come on the show and we can debate back and forth. Uh, you know, we're going to be covering a wide range of stuff, but I just wanted to give you some quick thoughts on the Bagos interview, what I thought of it. I know Black Dragon was happy with it. And happy meaning we finally were able to help a club get their side of the story out. If you're in a club and you want to get a story out, come on, sit down. And we'll get your side out. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for today. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Go to my other channel where the Insane Throttle Shorts are. And you'll get news that don't make the main program. Talk to you.